Did you know not everyone was present for the signing of the Declaration of Independence? And Thomas Jefferson left the most important spot open for who he believed was the most influential founding father? Join me today as we talk about George Wythe from Colonial Williamsburg. Jen Walk with History, historian and museum professional. We're here in Colonial Williamsburg today. I'm right by Bruton Parish. This is where George Washington went to church, Thomas Jefferson went to church, and a man named George Wythe. And that's who we're going to talk about today, George, George Wythe, one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, the first leader of law in America, and definitely a forefather of America. His house is open today. It's not open every day. So we're going to go into the George Wythe house today. tour of George Wythe's house. You're not allowed to take video inside the house, but I got a ton of pictures. So I was able to see the dining room. I was able to see the Elizabeth Wythe's office. I was able to see George Wythe's office. And then I was able to see like a receiving room, like a living room. Um, but just know that George Wythe, again, is the most important forefather that no one's heard of. He was a direct influence on Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson thought of him as a second father. And so when I show you the dining room, know that Thomas Jefferson came over to eat all the time, especially while he was going to school at William and Mary. Also, Thomas Jefferson would go into George Wythe's office and learn about things and talk about things. And that's why he's, George Wythe is such a major influencer. He's one of the major framers of the Constitution. When George Wythe dies, he actually leaves all of his books to Thomas Jefferson. And then Thomas Jefferson donates all of those books to be the first donation to the Library of Congress. All the rooms or outbuildings that are outside of the George Wythe house. And one of those ghost stories I heard on Colonial Williamsburg was about Elizabeth Wythe in the mirror. I took a picture of the mirror. I wasn't allowed to go up the steps and look in the mirror and take a picture, but I took a picture of the mirror. So I'll show that on the video. There's real life chickens out here. Here's the well. So again, you're really close out the door. Here's the well, very close to the kitchen. In 1776, George Wythe's wife, Elizabeth, was sick, so he had come home here and missed the signing of the Declaration of Independence. But Thomas Jefferson made sure to leave the prominent spot open for him to sign. And actually, if you look at the Declaration, he's the first signer of all the Virginians, actually two signatures ahead of Thomas Jefferson. statue of George Wythe outside of the front of William and Mary because he is considered the founding father of American law. And he's here with John Marshall. John Marshall was the fourth chief justice and actually the longest serving chief justice of America. So these two are who grace the statue out front here of William and Mary Law School. is very interesting. Before America became America, one of the biggest laws that was broken in the courthouse was not going to church. You had to go to church one day a month. Well, they talked about the bar and how you couldn't pass the bar unless you were really a lawyer. So if you were tried, you came up to the bar. You just walked up and stood up 
at the bar, and that's when you kind of pleaded your case. My closing thoughts about George Wythe and his impact on American history is there are people that aren't as well known that have made these huge influences on American history. And the major influence on actually George Wythe is his mother. His mother is the one who instills in him teaching and learning, and then he's going to influence Thomas Jefferson. And so all these people who are starting America from its infancy are influencing, influencing each other. And we don't realize the influence they have on us today. The influence of George Wythe is felt today, whether or not you know his name. But I hope now you do. On to my next Walk With History. Go.